back to back. Are you ready? By the way, so, for time purposes, I promise to leave out all the cliche things. You're beautiful, you're funny, you're smart, I only have eyes for you, all of those things. We know it's true, I tell you it every day. I don't need to tell you it now. I just want to start by saying thank you. Thank you for giving me new life. Thank you for giving me the belief in true love. Thank you for loving me and Max. 9 23 Target. Target is where it all started. I thank God in every prayer I say that I picked up that phone after a long 12-hour shift and sweetly said hello. My probably very preoccupied, irritable, exhausted hello was only to be met with a calm, masculine, safe, but oh so sweet hello back. That was everything right there. From that moment on, you had me. Thank you for loving me. I know that that's not always easy. Thank you for beating cancer with me. Having you by my side made that journey so much more tolerable. We had more hit us in our first few months than most have in a lifetime. But we did it. We got through it all, and we got through it all together. God didn't make man and woman to be alone. I just wish it didn't take 37 darn long years to find you. You're a humble man, but that's okay, because I like to brag. However, there's one thing I personally don't have to openly brag about because the world sees it too. This one thing is even more admirable, respectful, and just darn beautiful. And that is taking my two babies in as your own. On a cold winter day, in that coffee shop, my life changed forever. You were forever then, and you will always be here. I will give you everything I have, for as long as I can. I will give you, in our beautiful blended family, everything I have in my power. Day one, you've acted like those two little humans came right for you. And that's the world. I feel it, they feel it, the world feels it. And Gabby, Graydon, and I are truly the lucky ones. My, my 30s weren't the easiest. I stopped believing in the saying, good things can happen to good people. I needed you, I need you now, I needed you then, and I'll need you forever. In a way it feels we've only just begun, and we're not the only <laughs> Giggling. Are you ready for this? Sure. Yeah? yeah. Unless you want to go back to back. No. Oh my god, you're so beautiful. Hi. Hi. Oh my god, you look so yeah. pretty. <laughs> million dollars. Thank you. You too, you're so handsome. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you're perfect. You like it? It's so pretty. Thank you. Yeah. You like everything turned out good for you? Mm -hmm. Me too. Our love is resilient. It's a love that has communication, a love that is pure, a love that isn't scared, and a love that's guided by God. Because if it's not guided by God, then we must be lying to ourselves. How else can you possibly explain how we found one? We can't. He let me do it. He brought me home, and you are just that, my home. I love you with all my heart, Mrs. Stoll. I'm now the smitten, love-struck girl that cannot and will not live another day that's not by your side. The rough, tough, big tattoo bad boy that I always wanted is now stuck with me forever. This mama is ready to say I do and will do the rest of her life. Promise. Daniel George, Daniel George Stowell, I love you. I've never been more ready. Let's go get married. <laughs> now give me a kiss. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> We're gonna go get married? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>